CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman is with us for more on this. Ricky, good morning. Good morning. So from a legal standpoint, as the president is flying back home to the U.S., what should he be most worried about this morning? He should be most worried about the Southern District of New York. There is no doubt in my mind about that. What you have in Michael Cohen is someone who was telling the truth or not. So what does a prosecutor do? A prosecutor looks at what he says and says, how can I corroborate this? Because we know that Michael Cohen is a liar. He admits that he's a liar. He has lied to Congress. He has pled guilty to fraudulent crimes involving lying. So does it mean he can never tell the truth? Of course not. Well, in fact, the special counsel has said that they were able to corroborate much of what Michael P Cohen shared with them. Without any doubt. And the special counsel's office and the Southern District of New York know much more already than the oversight committee. Nevertheless, by bringing in the checks alone, those checks are highly corroborative and provocative. So what you do have is the possibility of a conspiracy of four people. That is the president, Michael Cohen, Alan Weisselberg, keys to the kingdom in his pocket, and Donald Trump Jr. Explain the keys to the kingdom comment about well, Weisselberg. He is the most important following witness. Remember, he was immunized back with the Southern District of New York before Michael Cohen's plea of guilty. He is the person with the checkbook. He is the person who knows where the money went. The reason he has the keys to the kingdom is he has the keys to the kingdom not only on the hush money cover-up, which really is the potential of a federal crime of conspiracy to violate the election laws, but he has the financials. So they're going to want the financial statements that were discussed as to whether they were inflated and deflated. Mm -hmm. Do we know if there mm -hmm. is fraud? There are lots of possible crimes the power, there. The, the, the power that prosecutors have. So one of the other damaging disclosures yesterday from Michael Cohn was that the president may have known in advance about the WikiLeaks disclosures from Robert, from uh, Julian Assange to Roger, Roger Stone. Stone yeah. Is it possible that they could have phone records, recordings of that particular conversation or to corroborate what the president knows? I doubt that they actually have a recording, but they could have phone records and you always have the other possibility of other witnesses. And Roger Stone's under a gag order, so he can't respond no. right now. Wouldn't know that yesterday. Yeah. Well, he, he, did, he did respond on Twitter. Yes, yes he, he said did. not true. He did. Thank you, Ricky.